Hello, my name is Mike M0MSN, and this is the new HA1 UV from Retivis Alliance. I believe it's Alliance, I could be wrong, it could be Alliance. Um, anyway, this is a new 2 meter and 70 centimeter handheld, um, which is IP67 rated, which means it is dust proof and waterproof down to about a meter for half an hour or so, at least I believe that's the case. Anyway, we're going to look at this radio uh, in a bit more in depth and uh, see what we uh, think about it. Um, I will say this straight off the bat. It's a nice hand sized chunky radio that uh, that is really quite nice. Um, this is 7CC. Great receiver. I do believe I have the new HA1 UV. Wow, okay. Another multilingual, I think. Let's have a quick check. Yes, multilingual, a uh, little handbook. I haven't obviously seen anything yet. Um, this one's come with a programming cable. Uh, whether or not everyone will come with a programming cable. I like it so far though. First appearances, very similar to the C1. Um, yeah, nice chunky radio, uh, USB-C charging on the back, which is nice. Let's get, uh, let's get this in, right. USB-C charging on the back and also obviously a cradle uh, for charging. Um, PTT, I would presume, what's that one for? Radio, okay. Very nice. Okay. Standard uh, clip. Is that a battery or chassis? Chassis. Great. Um, charge cable and programming cable, I would presume. Um, dock. Twenty eight hundred milliamp hour. Nice. Very nice. Fine. Play with that later. Okay, standard setup, um, Retivis um, HA1 
UV um, is uh, connected by a short length of, of coax here to the, um, can I show you this? Yeah, I can. Short length of coax to uh, an attenuator, 40 decibel attenuator, um, going into the tiny SA. Um, let's set this up very, very quickly. It's probably already done, but I'll do it again anyway. Uh, so we'll go uh, back to measure. And we want to do a harmonic. We set the start frequency at 144 megahertz. Uh, and we'll have a full span. And we need the external um, level set at minus 40 decibels. And just let that settle. Won't take long. And uh, we'll key up. This is on 5 watts. Key up. Let it settle. Boom. Beautiful. We're happy with that. Okay, I just thought I'd repeat a test because I realised I left the attenuator on. That's a 40 dB attenuator, so it was giving me false readings. But anyway, let's uh, redo this test. And um, this is the sensitivity test on uh, the Retivis um, Alluance HA1UV. Um, this little handset here. Uh, and so what I've done is I've set a frequency of 144.650 uh, and repeated it obviously here on the VFO. Um, so let's set a level of 18.5 or minus 18.5 dB as a start place, uh, which is the lowest it goes. And let's turn our tone on. So as you can see, it's now fully closed. Let's just keep going down. Minus 58 dB. Minus 68 dB. 78 dB. 88 dB. 98 dB. 108 dB. 118 decibels. Minus 124 dB, and then we've got 5%, uh, which is about an S1, S2. So that's still receiving at minus 124 dB. Will it go any further? Nope, that's as far as it goes. So that's good. That's really good. M0 MSN uh, returning. Yeah, I'm on a handheld in the uh, the upstairs of my house, so a reasonable distance away from the repeater. Um, only doing about five watts. Um, so I'm just testing this handheld over. Yeah, I suppose you could say that. Uh, I'm testing it. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a new uh, Retivist that I've just uh, acquired. So I'm just testing to see how good it is. Uh, and if the audio is any good, go over.
until you're listening. And uh, yeah, I'm just about to dip down into the, the uh, green fences, the uh, anti cloy fences, and you see we're going to be dodgy there in another hundred yards. This is M0 MSN just testing the audio quality on the HA1 Uniform Victor, the HA1 UV from Retivis. This is M0 MSN just testing the audio quality on the Retivis Alliance HA1 UV. Um. So I've had this radio for about 10 days now and uh, I've been playing of it pretty much every day. Uh, and I've come to the same conclusion as, as Matt, uh, that's um, Tech Minds and also Steve um, from Merca um, and, and a couple of others, Hayden, etc. This is really a good value for money radio. Um, it's uh, It's got some quirks, which I really, really like. The fact that uh, it's got zones um, in the programming. So you can perhaps put all the repeaters for your country, um, or at least up to 256 repeaters, into the memory. Um, and you could place them into different zones. Um, so as you're traveling through your country, you can click from one zone to the next zone and know that you've got all the repeaters for that particular area. It's brilliant. I like the idea. Um, really do like it. Um, VFO wise, superb. Um, press and hold the exit uh, key and it flicks from VFO to memory mode or memory mode to VFO mode. Uh, you can have it so that you can see the channels or the frequency or, or the name that you've given it. It's, it works. It works really, really well. Um, I really love the programming. It's really simplistic. I think it's a big thumbs up. This is a great radio. Um, well, there we are. There's nothing more to say about it. Um, a lot of us have looked at this uh, radio. A lot of us like this radio. Uh, there's a link uh, in the uh, description below um, for uh, for a, a link to uh, where you can purchase the radio. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's got uh, my hats off uh, to Retivist and Alluance. Uh, great piece of kit. Um, and I look forward to using it in the coming months. This is M0 MSN. Thanks so much for watching.